Hey, how you doing? Welcome to the show. Today we're talking pizza. And I hate pizza in California. Did you get that? Because nobody out here knows how to make pizza. And I'm going to prove it. The best way to do that is to do a pizza taste test. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to three major chains and we're going to pick up a pizza. We're going to bring it back to my kitchen and we're going to analyze it. It's going to be great. Just hang in there. Let's do it. Before we do our first test, I want to tell you a little story. The last time I went to Pizza Hut, which is our first test, okay, I had a spot that big on my pizza, had no cheese, no sauce. It was bare completely. I called the lady up. I'm like, hey, what's up with this? There's n I got a whole bare spot on my pizza. There's nothing on it. And she's like, oh, well, sorry, sir. Sometimes it bubbles and it moves around. The cheese does and everything. Everything moved? Are you kidding me? So I took it back and I got my money back. This pizza here that I'm about ready to show you cost me $15. It's just a large pepperoni pizza. 15 bucks. Let's take a look. Now this is exciting. I've wanted to do this video for quite a while. This is called Pizza Hut. Some of you may not live near one, but it's nationwide. Most of us know who they are. All right, so this is a large pepperoni. I'm gonna do pepperoni on every place I go, okay? Now, as you can see, it's not quite a large, I mean, look how small that is. This used to be a medium when I was a kid, all right? But this is a large. So what we're gonna do is, and it doesn't look too bad. I see a lot of pepperoni. I'm pretty happy with the amount of pepperoni. But let's take a look at, uh, let's take a piece right here. Okay, take a nice piece here. And we're gonna analyze this piece. Let me close the box. I'm gonna put it up here. All right, so this is what I see. I see lots of pepperoni, that's good for me, all right? We're gonna, we're gonna take a look and see how much cheese there is, okay? What I wanna do is I wanna peel back the cheese and, oh, well this, that's just a little piece, I guess. I wanna see how much cheese is really on this pizza. All right, now forgive me for dissecting a pizza on the screen, but this is gonna show you how much cheese they basically put on a pizza. Okay, now, this is a $15 pizza, right? $15, this is what amazes me. Okay, look at this. This blows my mind that I get, there you go. That's all the cheese on that slice. That's my pizza. All right, now let's look at the sauce, ready? I'm just gonna take the sauce off here because pizza always has to have pizza sauce. All right, and I'm going to show you the little bit of sauce. That's how much cheese, that's how much sauce, and here's all my pepperoni. We've analyzed this, right? Now, look at this. This is all dough, all bread. It's not even cooked all the way, okay, which is really nasty. That's all bread. All you're doing is buying dough. That's all you're getting. You get a drop of sauce, you never get plenty of sauce, and this is pathetic. That's pathetic. This was adequate. $15 pizza, I don't think so. This is the garbage we get in California. Let's move on to the next one. Okay, test number two. Papa John's pizza, been around for 25 years. Here we go, take a look. All right, so what I see is plenty of pepperoni except in the center, but it looks good. I'm not too, too picky about pepperoni as long as they put enough on. I don't want like three pieces spread out all over. Let's grab one of these slices. Let's see which one should we do. Let's do this one back here. All right, got a better feel to it. We will find out. All right, so let's take a look. We're gonna take the pepperoni off first. Try to save some of the, some of the cheese. Okay, that piece comes off. Ouch, 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 ouch. Yeah, well at least you know it's a hot pizza and I didn't have it sitting around, I just picked it up myself. Okay, a little bit of cheese there and there, okay. So there's the cheese, all right? Now let's pull off the, oh, oh, the suffering I do for videos. Okay, give me the fork. All right, we're gonna pull the cheese off. Wow, this is nasty looking. If you look at it, it just, they have like no cheese. If you ever been to Chicago or New York, they're piled with cheese. I'm even gonna give them a little bit of that dough just to make it look a little better. Wow, now if you look, there is like, no more cheese on that piece. All right, here's one more piece, hold on. I don't wanna neglect the test. All right, and then sauce. Here we go. Get all the sauce. 
All the gallons of sauce. Right, there it is. All right, might want to back the camera up there. That's a pretty big portion of... No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Um, there's your sauce. That's all the cheese we have. That's even less than Pizza Hut. And Pizza Hut gave me more pepperoni, and Pizza Hut was horrible. But this pizza only cost me $10, and it's not worth it. That is just ridiculous. Let's go to test number three. This is test number three. A lot of you have Costco, and Costco is really famous for its pizza. People love their pizza. So, and, and I really enjoy their pizza over most of the rest, but there, you know what? Let's find out how they did today. I just went and picked this up from my local Costco. Let's take a look. Oh boy, 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 boy. In fact, this looks to be the worst of them all. Look at this. I don't know if you can see this, but it's burnt here, 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 burnt, burnt, burnt. Ouch. There's like not enough pepperoni over the whole thing, but all right, let's take one that does. Uh, let's do this one right here, okay? Once again, they're all, they're all coming out about the same, but this one looks really bad. This has like no, oh, hold on a minute. I want to show you this. I'm putting this back here. Okay. Um, I'm going to bring this a little closer. Can you see that spot right there? Look at this. There is no cheese there whatsoever. That is just bread. That is absolutely horrible. So we have burnt, no cheese. Look at this stuff. This is just all bread again. All right, now let's do our regular test, but I just wanted you to see that. That's what I'm complaining about. How can you make a pizza with no cheese? Absolutely no cheese. I, I, let me just grab a regular, I don't even know where to go. Let's try this one. We'll try this slice right here. All right, the box is bigger and the pizza's bigger, but who wants a bigger piece of burnt, no cheese pizza? You know what I'm saying? All right, so here's our piece. We're gonna, we're gonna take all the pepperoni off this piece. There's one. Well, I, I lied. There's half of one. There's the other half of one. There we go. Here's half of another, more like a quarter and then a piece. I'm trying to keep the cheese together too so we can at least analyze the cheese. All right, so there's your pepperoni. There's one more piece over here. I can just get it off the cheese. There we go. Ah, that's a, now that's a piece I usually get. There's pepperoni. Now let's do the cheese. Is there any cheese on here? Or is that just burnt bread? Okay, here we go. Uh, yeah, no, that's... That's cheese, all right. Yeah, that's cheese. All right, so we're going to take off the cheese. This is the cheese. All right. And there's the cheese. Um, it probably wouldn't have been half bad. Ha oh, and let's get the sauce. Let's get... Okay, well, the sauce is off. All right, not really sure where the sauce is. That's your pepperoni, that's your cheese, it's burnt, and that's your sauce, and this pizza costs 10 bucks. There's your test. I don't even know what to say. I wouldn't even line my birdcage with this. This is the biggest waste of money ever. What a bunch of garbage. All right, well, there's our test. Hey, do me a favor, send me an email, it's on the screen below, or you can follow me on Twitter. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching the show, but before you go, let me tell you about my line of sauces. It's called the best barbecue sauce you'll ever taste. It's delicious. And if that wasn't enough, we made a hot one. There it is. Whew, it's good. Hey, check out the best teriyaki sauce you'll ever taste. I got that too. Bam, right there. And if you want more, I got the best gourmet seasoning you'll ever taste. Mm-mm-mm, look at that baby. Check it out at thebestsauces.com. I'll be there waiting for you. See you there.